part one go back and watch it it'll be in the cart somewhere around here but before we get into this video part two of spicy questions we're gonna flip this one around this time yes <laughs> and the husband's gonna be asking the wife spicy questions so i'm ready for these answers i don't know <laughs> i'm a little nervous i don't know what to expect but like we said if you drop that hashtag part two down in the comments so here we are but before we start this video, I wanted to show you guys my Halloween nails so far. Y'all know. Oh, we gotta get that focus. Do y'all see my Halloween nails? This is caution. And they got the blood and the hands going. And I got a baby hand on that one. So it's definitely like a 3D nail. Did you put lotion on your hands? I did. Good job. It don't look like it? I mean. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Jesus, I actually oiled my hands twice. Okay, it's not my fault that my hands get ashy really quickly. This is why I don't expose my nails. I want you guys to comment down below how long you think these nails are gonna last Ooh. without breaking because like so those 3D ones with the hands, like I don't see that lasting very long. It was so hard <laughs> to get my weave on today. It wasn't even funny. <laughs> okay, but anyway, we are in the Halloween mood for this part two. So I'm ready to tap in. I don't know what I'm gonna Take a say. sip, take a sip, go ahead. Oh, I got my eggnog too. And I'm just drinking. It's spiked. It's just crown and coat. Let's get into the video. Have you ever said your period was on to get out of having sex? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> the truth comes out. But I'm pretty sure a lot of girls feel like that. Like they just be like, I'm not in the mood. Like you just can't say you're not in the mood. Because guys are not taking it. <laughs> It's not the same. All these lies. Okay, so going along with that question, do you like having sex on your period? Woo! Oh! Somebody up! Oh, let's say, have you ever had sex on your period? One. Well, you know that. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you did. So, so going back to that, time, did you like having sex on your period? Yes. Mm. <laughs> and I think I liked it more in some ways. <laughs> It's so weird. I don't know. Okay, listen, ladies, 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 ladies. I know because I know a lot of people feel weird about running a little red light special. But in some ways, like, you're more horny during your period. Is it because you feel like you're not supposed to or you can't have sex and it makes you more horny? It's just like a, a internal horniness. Mm. Oh, whatever. And this reminds me of something. Before I go deeper, okay, you know who you are. Don't watch this video. You read the disclaimer. <laughs> okay, if you made it this far, don't move no further. You know who you are. Listen, if you are family, don't watch this video. And I don't wanna hear it. Just hit the X button at don't, the top. Don't send me a text message, a Snapchat, a kite, a paper plane. Don't send me nothing. I don't wanna hear it. You watched the last video, cut it off, okay? Back to it. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, in some ways it's more. It's, it's more intriguing for whatever, but the act of it isn't more sexy because it's like, I can't get hit. 
I, I wasn't expecting you to say that. I was expecting you to say like, it looks nasty, like you don't want to look down there or nothing like that. Yeah, uh, and it's more dry. Mm. All right, they think they started off good. They that Dang, question. Exposure. <laughs> Do you prefer a good night's rest or a long session of good sex? Ooh, that's really hard. I don't like them both. I know. You gotta <laughs> choose. Yeah, rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you. This girl loves to sleep, y'all. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't sleep all day. She could probably sleep for 12, 14 hours straight if if I, there was nothing to do in the day <laughs> and I was just like, go ahead, go sleep. No. She could probably sleep that long. No, that's not true. So this wasn't even on my list, but now that you said that, um, I got another question. Mm -hmm. Why do you like to have sex so late at night? And I'm talking about it'd be like two, three o'clock in the morning. It's not necessarily I like to have sex that late. It's just I put priorities of getting stuff done because then I'm gonna be sleepy after sex. That ain't gonna be no good. But usually, like, I be asleep. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I get woken up, and then I know I gotta get up early in the morning. Because you don't really care if I thought you cared. I don't care because I wanna, at the end of the day, get get some sex. Okay. So I'm gonna, to I'm gonna sacrifice and do whatever I gotta do to get the sex, <laughs> but I would prefer, you know, <laughs> let's do it like earlier in the mm -hmm. night so that we both get some rest. They ain't, we can't get rest, we got kids. Yeah, but. Uh, and YouTube is our kid. Yeah. And look at what time is it now. We got three kids. It's 12.30 and I still got to edit this tonight. What, what time is gonna do it? Quickies earlier in the day. You don't know how to do a quickie. We can learn. You've been learning for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> you got it already, you might not learn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me hit you with another one. Have you ever faked the orgasm? Is this a trick? It ain't no tricks, straight up. <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't no tricks to this. Like, I didn't ask you in a, a different type of way. <laughs> With you or? No, and, uh, and just in anybody. Jail. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you said it real quick. <laughs> I bet you, you, it's pulling up a memory, huh? <laughs> For sure, I have. But like, okay, so wait. <laughs> Outside of you, it's like when you initially was intimate, and then you be like, "This ain't gonna be good." Like you, you can foresee the session, and you just be like, "No." So let me just pretend. So I just knock it out of the woods. Mm. Have I done it with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But only the way to be taken too long. I just be <laughs> you, you like if did you can't like, yeah. <laughs> I, I like died. I I died a long time ago. <laughs> it just be like yeah, cause I want you to like hurry up. Mhm. Mm it's okay. It's okay. So this is a, a not necessarily question about me. Just a, just a general question. The size matter. I don't know why I didn't see that one coming. I just didn't see that one coming. I didn't. I didn't see it. Does size matter? No. No? No, to an extent. Okay? Look at my finger to an extent. Okay? You can't just be Tiny Tim. Okay? What's, what's Tiny Tim? Like, size don't really matter. Like, you don't have to be like some 8 inch, 9 inch. I don't need all that. Like, What's, what's on the small scale? Okay. <laughs> I can see the comments now. Girl, what you taking? <laughs> Realistically, okay. I feel like this is the medical side coming out. The average guy is actually six inches. Five to six inches, they say. I think anything under four. Like four or under. Like, on that end. <laughs> show, them, show them what you think four is. Huh? Show them what you think four is. Inches? Yeah. Why I gotta do that? Just see, this is so shit. <laughs> What's four inches? Is that four inches? That seems about four. Is that four inches? That's tiny. Is this four? This tiny. I can't really see your thing. I think you're actually bigger than four inches right there. Oh, well, anything <laughs> less than this is a problem, okay? <laughs> it need to be a strong conversation. You better be the girthiest four inches. So is, is girth better than length? 
Yeah, because then you can be long and be a pencil and then you be throwing yourself down the hall. Like, no. Throw yourself down the hall. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. <laughs> yeah, no, you could be, okay, I'd rather have somebody small and girthy than long and skinny, cause that ain't gonna be doing that. I need you to hit walls, okay? I need you to your way through that. Dang. It just can't be a slip and slide, huh? For real. <laughs> it gotta be a little friction. And then you know, even, I'ma add to that. All right, y'all, <laughs> I'ma add to that. You can't, you have to have a rim. A rim? Yeah, rim to body ratio. Like it, it, it gotta be some some kind of bite because there's some dudes that got no head and they just be like, oh, you here? <laughs> <laughs> you made it, and that's about to. So for me, I'd rather have like it's okay. You get your five or six or whatever. Cool, I'll be an average guy. But if you got some size on you, some curve to you, you know, it, then you all good. Nobody care about that. Now, what kind of curve <laughs> do you prefer? Like you want a curve that's like off the side. I think a curve is better than no curve. But what kind of curve? Dang, he trying to make me up. A up, maybe. So this. Yeah. You gotta think about it. I'm yeah, I do because I can't think of the last time I had another curve. So I don't know. God, Lee, this is a lot of pressure. Maybe to the left. I don't know. It gotta, it gotta have a curve to it. So it gotta have a curve. I mean, I think it's better. Well, I ain't gonna say needs to, cause you know, it could be somebody busting down. Don't got no curve, but some, I find. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, I find the ones that don't have a curve, they they have issues with staying hard. Hmm. Maybe needing like cop rings and stuff. Hmm, never heard that before. Yeah, I find that they lose. Their strength. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making mm. sound like a head slash. So okay. like, I'm just blowing right now because these aren't even on my list. But <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had sex with someone who was uncircumcised? No. But let me tell you one thing. I had an experience, and that thing scarred me for the rest of my life. Can't personally do it because I smell smegma. For the first one. <laughs> Spegma. What's Spegma? Let me tell you. I was school you. Okay. I had a spirit with the with the dude that was very in tune into the moment. And then I tried to play it off and like, lay in his stomach. Oh, like, okay, we was in the car stuff. Then he tried to pull a fast one and slowly let his pee pee come out his pants. And I heard a noise. It sounded like macaroni and cheese. Ooh. That must be what uh, <clears throat> Cardi B was talking about. Uh-uh, that ain't what she was talking about. <laughs> nope. I heard like, like out of nowhere. I was like, what's that sound? Got a rat in there? <laughs> yeah, I, was like, a rat? I was like, what's that sound? <laughs> so then, then I looked down and I see the turtle coming out. And then as it was coming out, it was making that noise. The, tur the turtle? Yeah, the it. turtle. <laughs> and it was coming out. And I got a whiff, I said, ooh. <laughs> and I see the whiteness, on, and I have like, <laughs> you crazy. My first experience was smegma, and I was like, that's, I didn't know guys were capable of stinking. It stunk. So did you go through with it, or did you get out of it? I didn't know I was going into anything. <laughs> How'd you get out of that one? I was like, oh yeah, it's getting I was like, you so crazy. I'm so good at laughing stuff off. Mm. I'm like, you crazy, this and that. I gotta go home. It's right here. <laughs> I gotta go home. Yeah, drop me off. I, I'm literally scarred from that moment. And then I seen the cottage cheese. Ugh. I said, who? That sound bad. Who? Mm -mm. Now, I know there's dudes that have extra little, little skin. It doesn't mean they're not circumcised. It just means that they got circumcised wrong. But... <laughs> Doctor messed up. He ain't quite get enough skin though. Mm -hmm. Those are those are fine. The actual no, I'm sorry if you if you're not. I'm so sorry. But that scar, I mean, I was like, no. But I do find though <laughs> that they are they become bigger because they can stretch further because of the skin. Mm. But that don't mean nothing. I don't even care about that. But they might be staying. It's possible. <laughs> okay, so we watched a show called Married at First Sight, so this question is going to pertain to that. So take me out of the equation. Could you ever see yourself marrying a guy who said he was bisexual in the past? 
<laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> you trying to make me put me in some controversy. You get, you'll give a good answer. I, I don't know. What, <laughs> go ahead and answer. <laughs> you drinking my drink. No, it's officially not your drink no more. <laughs> Damn, I was just about to get up in that. No. <laughs> Dang. Because you sitting here letting it melt and stuff. I'm almost done with mine. Well, when you're done, I'll give it to you. It's going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> could, you, could, you ever, could you ever see yourself marrying a guy who told you he had a bisexual past? You know, when we seen the episode, <laughs> you know how I be watching the psychiatrist and he's been talking about the episode. Mm -hmm. And I've, been, it was, I've actually been thinking about it, like, could I actually do it? Mm -hmm. And my genuine answer is, I don't know. I don't know. And it's not a cop out. I feel like there's a part of me that maybe if it was the right person, maybe I could potentially rule it out. I don't know. I don't know. Like, my first gut is like, no. But I would genuinely have a lot of questions. But you know, personally, I have a lot of questions mm -hmm. about, like, gay men and stuff like that and how they live their life. And, and I genuinely haven't found someone who was comfortable enough to really genuinely open up to me. I feel like I'm saying genuinely a lot. But, and I had a lot of gay friends that was comfortable enough to really express how they work in the community and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't know. Like I want my gut is telling me no, because I don't understand it. But learning from the doctor is a situation doesn't necessarily mean they have to have a guy, but then it's like, I always think I'll be comparing myself to what I can't give him. But I know there's women that have been with bisexual men and they use toys on them but I don't think I'll be comfortable enough to express that to them but then I would feel bad that I I'm not willing to go at a level like I don't want him to compress himself if he wants like a toy used on him so let's let's uh dive in, into that a little bit deeper so if he did have that past would you prefer him to tell you in the beginning of the relationship or right like a couple of weeks before y'all about to get married <laughs> it has to be done anytime before marriage but i am i'm fair i feel like i won't be mad if he won't tell like people die over this okay so i won't be mad if you don't tell me off the bat and he waited until he seen that okay maybe a little bit more serious i feel like a good time to tell me it's like when you're ready to ask me to be with you. So y'all been talking for a while and yeah. then it's like, you want to be my girlfriend? But uh, check this out first. Yeah, because I feel like if you ask me any serious question like a relationship or marriage or whatever, I feel like you should give me the full disclosure if I want to be involved. Mm -hmm. We're into each other enough. I think the point of time you like, hey, will you be with me? And around that era of conversation, I think that's the perfect time to explain it. Whenever that time is. So it could be months or not. But mm -hmm. the time you want to be exclusive is the time you should disclose it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but, no, I don't know. I, that's my answer. I don't know. Um, have you... <laughs> ever had played around with or you know kiss a girl and did you like it i have kissed a girl <laughs> i don't think how old were you i was an adult an adult okay over 18. yeah i think like two or three times <laughs> maybe and i don't think for me it's not a thing like um like I like it. I don't really feel anything. It's usually when I'm like lit, like super lit. How different is it from kissing a guy? Yeah, it's different. Like, <laughs> it's so weird. It's like I enjoy more of the thought of it happening than the action of it happening. <laughs> In the moment I would like visualize like 
if like a guy was watching or like you like how maybe like you feel or like more so that i'm thinking of other things while it's happening more of Ooh, I'm kissing this girl. Moments where I'm feeling super sexy, super seductive, super like in tease mode. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm thinking of like- Putting on a show. Yeah, like mm -hmm. more so of that than the actual action. Cause I don't think the girls I have kissed was, no offense if you ever see this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think kissing a girl is better than kissing a guy. And do you think that because of the girls that you kiss, like if there's like your dream girl and you kissed her, you feel different, or you just, you know, saying kissing a girl is just not as good because it's like girl. too soft and too, too soft. There you go, there you go. Okay, like, go ahead. it's too soft, too feminine, too like. And I think girls kiss a little bit more rough than I thought they would. Oh. And it's like too much. They be trying to shove tongue and stuff, and I'm just be like, trying to prove a point. It's like they're trying to be seductive, but they're doing too much at the same mm. time. And it's like on top of that, it's too small, uh, too soft. And I like the masculineness. I like the body attached to it. I like the tease that come with it when it comes to the man. I'm sorry to cut my cut off. But yeah, I just don't like when you're actually kissing. It, it's like a, a, a mood, mm. but intensity that happens. So for me, when I do kiss the girls, it's like I'm thinking of the mood with my man and stuff like that. Like, and not like with them. Sorry. Sorry, girl. <laughs> you make, sexiness. You making me feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, FaceTime me next time or something. <laughs> What's so crazy is, I don't know if you remember, but I had this man and I, and I called you before and you was like, I don't know if you remember the conversation. But when I was going out, I was like, I feel like it's just gonna be like a crazy night. I think it was like one of the times, one of the only times I was more open to like a whole threesome situation. Yeah, I think that was the time I was tripping and I was like, I was just looking at the time, it was like <laughs> six o'clock in the morning, you still were, I was like, what the hell are you doing? And I was getting wow, mad. Like, it so was, was like, really late though. I, I think I, I, I blew that one, but. <laughs> Time, but then I was like, man, I think it's crazy, you know, this and that. And I was telling her everything was gonna. He was like, if you have an experience, because I remember you saying it, he's like, if you have an experience with the girl, that's fine, just the next time. <laughs> <laughs> but it was hella late because, like, I was getting mad though. Like, it was yeah, <laughs> it was late because, like, we ended up going all kind of that's a whole nother story time, but it was like 9 a.m. and I still wasn't home. And at that point, it's like, all right, man, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah. Whatever y'all did or whatever y'all gonna do, we you should have did it by now. No, we were still doing. <laughs> <laughs> and it was not it, okay? It was, it was not it. But yeah, it was a crazy, crazy night. And that was in that blue apartment, too. Yeah, everything that, happened that blue in the blue apartment. apartment yeah. where, whoo, <laughs> we got a lot of fun in that blue apartment, dog. <laughs> that blue apartment. Yeah, but yeah, so. <laughs> Oh, this is good. All right, so the camera died. I don't really know where we left off. Hopefully, we ended off on a good place. But I think we got enough here. Um, I think I gave gave you a, a good dose of spicy questions. Yeah, we had enough good conversation. You know, your answers are good. I liked your answers. So I think you know there's there's a lot to talk about here in the comments. Let us know what you think about. Yeah. our questions and answers here in the comments yeah. and what other videos you want us to do next do you want more questions if you do comment hashtag part three or do you want to see like other types of questions like uh never have i ever or anything like that see us playing the games and stuff like that yeah so if there's like any other kind questions or even if there are specific questions that you want us to ask each other you can comment those down below as well um but yeah i think we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here i think we blew up this memory card quite <laughs> enough so like this video subscribe to the channel share this video and turn on your post notifications and, and we'll we will see, see you in, in the next, next one. one all right gang peace bye